Good morning, my G's, and welcome back to the DoorDash and Spark Adventures. Uh, today is a very weird day. I don't like how today is going so far. I did do a couple Spark orders. I also got myself some breakfast, but uh, the shopping orders, I did two shopping orders. But when I was at the Chick-fil-A to get myself breakfast, I don't know what happened. I was just looking down at my phone. Chick-fil-A was taking forever in the drive-thru. And I just had like such a weird feeling like I was going to pass out or something just like sitting there. And uh, ever since then, I've just kind of been, I don't know, I've just kind of been feeling like, I, like it worried, I guess you can say, because you kind of don't want to pass out when you're driving. I'm glad I was in the Chick-fil-A drive-thru. But I, I just have no idea like what caused it. I, I had my water with me. I drank water before I did the first shopping order and everything was fine in the first one. It wasn't until I got to the Chick-fil-A and I'm just sitting there that all of a sudden, for whatever reason that happened, um, I've had like cases where I felt like I was gonna pass out before. If you've been watching the channel, I've actually gone to the, uh, what's it called, like the E, not, well the ER and then also like that clinic, the, the fast clinic or whatever it's called. I've gone to those and every time I get checked, they just never find anything wrong. So, uh, I don't know, man. I, I don't know if maybe I'm just kind of like overworking myself. Maybe I'm just, I've just been working a lot. But I, I just, I don't know, because it's like the way it happened, it's not like I was, you know, running around the store going crazy. It was literally me sitting in the car waiting in a drive through So, I don't know. Now I'm kind of worried about it. My stomach started to hurt because of it. And that's kind of me. I kind of over t I, I overthink things. I, I, I don't know if I'm overthinking about this. I mean, that's just a weird... I don't know, like, it was just so weird. I turned on the AC to, like, full blast, and I was just like, ah, I, I guess I kind of had, like, a little panic attack with it as well, but not the type of way that I wanted to start the day, for sure, um, because I still want to try to hit this incentive. It is raining a little bit, sprinkling. Can I actually go this way? I don't want to go down that way and then have to, like, go straight and cut the thing. So, uh, hopefully your morning's starting off better than mine. Uh, I did two orders. I got drop-off action for one of them. This one that I just did, I, I didn't get any drop-off action because I didn't want to... I don't know, I just didn't... I just, like, it's just such a weird feeling, dude. I did eat a little bit. I drank more water. We'll see. If I have to go home, then I guess this video will never be posted. But I don't... I just... Man, I'm so sick of having these types of problems, dude. I feel like I get checked for them, like, so often, and they just never find anything. Yes, I got high blood pressure. Been taking medicine for it for months now. I don't think it's because of that. Unless my blood pressure got low. I don't know. I'm gonna go ahead and do this shopping order though. It's $31.18 going three miles and it's only 12 items. So the orders are freaking insane. Like I don't wanna leave these behind uh, and go home right now. I'm just hoping that if I continue to just walk around, maybe I'll just feel better. I don't know, I'm gonna keep drinking water and walking and I'm just gonna take it easy. I'm not gonna rush. Well, update, we are still alive. I can't really tell nowadays whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. Just been trying to take my mind off of things, just been trying to take it easy. I, I've been thinking on the drive and as I was dropping off this order, I was like, maybe, because if you guys remember, I've been trying to lose weight. I kind of stopped doing that because I started working like 12 plus hours a day. Yesterday we did 11, which was cool. Uh, but I've been working a lot more. I haven't really had time to do any like workouts, any of the weight loss stuff. And uh, I'm thinking that's what I'm gonna try to do again next year. I think that's gonna be my goal next year before I come out to work every day. I'm gonna go for walks. We're gonna start off with walks with Bentley and then I'm gonna go uh, start to run as well. Let me go ahead and go before this closes. There we go. I'm gonna start going for runs. I feel like that cardio it's gonna be good for me. Because when I was younger, I used to go running every single day. I really just enjoyed doing it and I felt great. I used to run and then I would weight lift after that. And I don't remember ever having any type of medical problems uh, when I used to do that. I stopped doing that, get up to about 250, all of a sudden I'm starting to have all these problems and I'm not really that young anymore, you know? I mean, I'm 26, but you know, as a man, one day, it's, it's, it's crazy though, you wake up in the morning and you just start having aches and pains and it's like, 
You don't even know where they even came from. But I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the Walmart, see if I can get me another shopping order. Yep, today's basically just going to be another one of those shopping days. $24.54, 4.6 miles. The thing is, it's only nine items. So how can, how would anyone turn this down? It's either do this or do like a $7 Uber Eats. I think I'll take this instead. Well, at least one thing is good today. I'm actually able to get the drop-offs for these orders. A lot of these customers that I'm dropping off to right now are actually repeat customers. And I kind of remember, you know, the ones that come outside, the ones that are like no contact delivery, but they come outside. I remember those, but I also remember the people that don't come outside. So it's, uh, it makes the vlog better. And also, no complaints. I mean, other than that stupid stuff that happened to me earlier, I'm actually having a pretty decent day. I'm, I'm getting spark orders, they're shopping orders, they're good orders. I'm living life. Let me go ahead and try to just get in front of this guy right now. Yes, sir, he was turned in anyways. But uh, yeah, I'm doing shopping orders. Things are in stock. I'm not having to run back and forth across the store. I'm getting a lot of money for the items. Before, a $23 order would be like 15 to 18 items. This one was nine. I guess the only complaint I kind of have is this is still going on where it says you gotta retry. But uh, I've been doing that and it's popped up after the fact. Like it'll go away and then, uh, hold on now. They better not have broken it right now. I can't even reach it, bro. Imagine when I get the iPhone 14 Pro Max. I'm, I'm not gonna be able to reach anything over there, man. But uh, yeah, 11.30 a.m., life's good. I mean, I'm living making money i should get the incentive if not i think i already should have gotten it let me actually see because they've been kind of cheating me on it oh i did look at that yeah i did 12 trips i know i did way more than that though i feel like i did four or five trips today alone and i did like nine yesterday but yeah there we go 50 dollars now we just got to get that extra 50 for that hundo i guess i spoke too soon because this has been going on the entire drive here orders are popping up like on the notifications but on the actual screen right here nothing actually pops up which does suck i was doing really good i i, I saw that we actually did four orders i mean they were just super easy i came out at what like 8 30 8 40 ish something like that i came out a little later because i knew the app was going to be uh glitchy but i still made a good amount of money now if only this could the thing is now i don't want to go and do food right now one i got kicked off doordash didn't really notice i got kicked off and then two i don't want to drive all the way back to the plaza just to drive all the way back to the walmart to do another order but i guess that's my i mean that might be what we have to do yesterday i kind of did that as well uh you guys didn't see it because i turned the camera off it was getting late but i would drive to the plaza do an order drive back to the walmart and i would just kind of like do that looks like i'm gonna have to do that again though today i just want to get that incentive dude this is the hardest thing i've ever tried to do in my life i, got, I need to do another eight trips to get the extra fifty dollars it's possible if the app works it's definitely possible but if it goes down like you did yesterday uh, it's just gonna be really hard to get that food is absolutely dead of course it is sparks not working still so i do have a little bit of time to mention this i was gonna mention it a few days ago it's just uh been kind of busy with all the other things trying to make money uh but this has to or this pertains to doordash i know i've just been doing spark today i'm trying to do food bro look at me i'm at the plaza man y'all see the pet car right there this is where the journey started the LA Fitness, man, I remember I used to get comments all the time. Moo, you looking kind of big, man. You want to go to the LA Fitness? No, I don't want to go to the LA Fitness. But uh, I, I got this. Uh, this was actually sent to me. I forgot who it was by, but whoever sent it, thank you. Uh, it says DD being extra AF. It's something to do with like id verification the app is trying to verify that you're the one actually working the apps and i'm not gonna lie this is actually in my opinion this is actually a good thing because there's a lot of drivers out there in my market that use other people's information to work right now i understand right now uh, some people the thing is if you get deactivated and you do that right at that point i have no sympathy for you because whatever you did to get deactivated is your fault unless a customer lied we six dollars fifty cents plus for 2.7 mile mcdonald's i will take that but let me put it up on screen real quick it says a photo of your u.s driver's license make sure there's enough lighting the id is not expired and then a selfie use the on-screen instructions to capture your face because when you think about it when you're using someone else's information to work this job i don't know how the whole you know how the social security stuff works on that still because they're not getting that they're getting your license but the all that information gets sent to that person and i'm assuming there are probably people out there that pro could have stolen a driver's license could have stolen 
some information you know that actually happens out there and then it gets sold on the black market someone buys it and then they use it to work that actually does happen so the fact that DoorDash is cracking down on that it's a good thing because it's gonna get less drivers on the road right think about it now it's gonna be less drivers on the roads I mean sucks for you if you're if you watch my videos and you're using like your wife's or your brothers or sisters information because you got deactivated um, I, I personally if I ever got deactivated off of DoorDash that's it right I, I, I worked something happened I got deactivated if it truly wasn't my fault I will fight it but if it's something like my completion rate goes under 80% and I willingly knew that and it happened then in that case I will take that I'll just take that you know what I got all the other apps I would move on with life but there's people that just genuinely you know they don't they don't really have many options they just kind of have DoorDash and Uber Eats and stuff like that and that's it I still can't get on spark man so trashy but I don't know let me know what you guys think about the new ID verification system I have not received it in my market I think that was what in Michigan or something like that so we'll see if it ever comes to me I mean I'm not using anyone else's account but if you are actually using like your brothers or sisters or moms and dads driver's license or account is under their name I would definitely work 80 hours a week before that update comes to your market because they're going to be cracking down on it, man. They're cracking down on it. They won't up the base pay. They won't increase the volume of orders. But they will crack down on the fact that you're using someone else's account to make money. So let's go to McDonald's right now. And hopefully Spark can come back on so I can get me a shopping order. Wow, dude, that order actually jumped from being $6.50 to $9.50. So that's actually pretty cool considering that I still don't have Spark. I wonder when they're going to fix it. I don't think they're even going to... I don't think yesterday they even attempted to fix it. Because when you think about it, it's hard to fix their problem right now. Their servers are just getting overloaded with the amount of orders that are coming in. And it doesn't help that it's probably freezing temperatures over there. So no one's probably even working. It's the holidays people are probably off yeah this, they just they didn't think this through did they well at least DoorDash is sending me a couple orders here and there seven dollars and fifty cents with a plus sign 2.6 miles it's another diamond order uh, uber has been completely silent hasn't sent me anything got a chick BLT salad and some cheese action okay well I wish I could go to the Walmart but that's still broken unbelievable how they can do this man I'm so happy I at least got that fifty dollars I think there's no chance now yeah no it, it would be absolutely impossible for me to get that other um, the extra $50 so I'm happy I at least got what I did but let's go to chicken salad chick it looks like today's just gonna be I know I started off really really well and we're probably at a lot of money because of that extra 50 that I got but it like I feel like the rest of the day is going to be pretty slow and boring for Gina thank you so that was one of those customers where I just know that they're gonna come out anyway and I also had a feeling because the door was wide open but it was seven dollars and fifty cents what was shown and I got eight dollars you can see how I'm getting these notifications but when you click on it nothing shows up still it's been over an hour like this which just sucks but I think spark being down sucks for other people more than it does for me because I already got my incentive if you didn't that really sucks I hope that they kind of like compensate us I think they've done it in the past when sparks gone down uh, they've compensated us with uh, like a 10 15 extra dollars it ain't much but at least it's something DoorDash would give us nothing this is one thing that I do really like about the diamond orders though is that you see how it says six dollars and fifty cents includes the DoorDash pay and customer tip I really like that because it just because I know for a fact okay I'm gonna drive to the Jersey Mike's which is in the plaza I'm gonna drive to the customer drop it off and I'm gonna get exactly what I'm shown right it's cool to get hidden tips but in case that there's not a hidden tip it's nice to know like okay I'm gonna only get 650 so that way I can make a conscious decision like okay if it's busy do I still want to take this right now I'm taking it because it's slow it's boring right now so that's why I'm taking it now but if it was super busy and there was a lot of orders coming in and I saw okay I'm only gonna get 650 I'd probably pass on this unless I was stacking it with something uh, 
Yeah, that probably was going to be like a 15 to 20 plus minute wait. And that's why I like that it showed me that I was only going to get 650. I got to sign that. I mean, I could have held it. It's just super slow. I could have held it and just like sat there. But the people inside just kept staring at me sitting there because I had the GoPro on. And that's one thing. Like there's certain places I won't take the GoPro because that's what they do. They literally will just sit there and stare. They, they won't turn away. They'll just... Well, what's this guy doing? And they just stare at you. They, they, they don't turn away once. And then when you look at them, they're still staring at you. And they're looking at the camera. Like, dude, it's not that serious, man. I'm out here trying to record my DoorDash and Spark adventures. But today, there really is no... Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Home Depot. No. Don't tell me I missed it. I just saw Home Depot orders, and they were all expired. No way, man. Come on. Please, let me get something, dude. This is so whack. Please anything it dude i swear i saw the home depot orders i saw three home depot orders in a row and now it is blue screened again yikes man yikes dude like i i, I want to stay out and work but also i'm just feeling super tired especially since what happened to me earlier on today i might just be might just be working a lot it's just, man, it's got to be something I could do. It's 1 p.m., guys. Come on. Oh, my goodness, guys. I know you can tell by the excitement in my voice. I'm so freaking lucky I got this. $29.46, 3.8 miles. I think it was like seven items. Let me go and see. Seven items, 17 units. It's an extra large order. I didn't even see the items. What'd they get? Toilet paper, paper towels, six 12-pack waters. Yo, what's up with the waters, man? Thank goodness they're a pack of 12s. I'll take it though, $30. My goodness, Spark, come on. I was literally about to go home and just keep Spark on, and then when I got an order, I would just be like, I'd just be chilling in bed and waiting for orders. How am I looking, man? Am I looking good? So, uh, this is an angle never seen before. I don't know what you guys can see. I don't know if this is going to be like in the way. I could actually maybe, let me see. No, is that gonna work? I, that actually works. Hold on now. Okay, so I might be like really, no, I might just be too low. I don't want to tilt it down though. Hold on, man. Let me... All right, you know what? That should be fine. Hopefully the camera doesn't fall. Hopefully it's not recording too much of that. Uh, I'm bored. There's literally no orders right now. Man, it's not, hold on. Yeah, okay, so uh, there's no orders. Literally, I mean, Spark is dry, blue screen again for the next two hours. Food is dead. Uh, not even getting pings on food. No joke. Like, you will hear it in the car when I get an order because it'll go ding, 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 ding. Nothing. Uh, I did get a fortune cookie, though, because I just had my bowl. I had an orange chicken and uh, white rice bowl. Last time I had the chow mein, I was like, let me, let me go and get the rice this time. But I wanted to go ahead and share my fortune with you guys because that's, that's beautiful, right? Because it's, it's about to be the new year, right? So we got to... We gotta see what our fortune's gonna be. You always gotta eat one half of the cookie, though. Man, I was sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Where'd, where'd my fortune go? Where'd the fortune go? I'm not eating it, am I? Did I put it in the bag? I put it in the bag. Okay. That's a good cookie, man. All right, let's go ahead and read the fortune. We're gonna read it, let's see. A simple lifestyle will guarantee a happy existence. What kind of fortune is that? A simple lifestyle will guarantee a happy existence. Now I gotta analyze this. What am I doing wrong? A simple lifestyle. I feel like I'm being pretty simple right now. Sitting in my car eating. Man, that was a stupid fortune. Man, what, if, what am I supposed to do with that? A simple, what am I, what am I, I'm not, I'm not living complicated. The only complicated thing here is that I'm not getting any orders. Well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is whack. I'm about to go home. Like, I'm about to just go home and 
if I get an order, I'll come back out. It's going to be like an hour wait for Spark. <sighs> Live simply. I'm sorry if this part is a little shaky. I am recording it on my iPhone, literally just holding it with my hand right now. But I didn't want the vlog to just end abruptly. I came home, I tried taking a nap, I suck at taking naps midday, I don't know how girlfriend does it, she'll like lay in bed for 5 minutes and she's out cold. I laid in bed for like 30 minutes and I could not fall back asleep. Uh, I did get a spark order, it was $36 going like 1.9 miles, something ridiculous, it was an awesome order. I clicked accept, it said that there was an error, I waited like 5 minutes after that to see if it would pop up, no other offers popped up. And uh, so I just kind of turned off Spark for the day. I think I'm going to also take a mini vacation. I've just been kind of working super hard. I've just, like I've been putting in 70 plus hours a week and uh, my eyes are tired. I'm tired. I just want to take, take some time off, man. It's Christmas, Christmas Eve. You should take some time off as well. And uh, next time you see me, it's going to probably be December 26th if I come out that day or 27th. I don't know. I might take Monday off as well. I think Christmas is on Sunday. So I just want to say thank you guys so much for your continued support. I uh, hope you have a Merry Christmas. If you don't celebrate Christmas, happy holidays to you. And uh, you guys have uh, really helped me out this year more than I could ever imagine uh, with everything. So thank you for watching. And uh, I'll do a review of the year later on, before New Year's we'll do that. So, hope you enjoyed it. Have a good holiday, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good night, guys.